Welcome back for another shave. I'm Mike, the Razor Rookie. Let's uh, get started first, things first. My wife, I've mentioned her quite a few times, she got me a present. And it didn't make it for my birthday, but it came right after my birthday. And uh, I don't know if you paid attention to the thumbnail or not, but she got me a That Darn Rob brush for my uh, for my birthday. And uh, uh, there's the coin. I don't know if you can make that out. But look at that. That's a gold flake inside the handle. Right at the top. And the Fanchurian knot. That's a Manchurian badger trimmed to the fan tip. And if you tell it's bloomed a bit, but... Uh, all I did was lather with it once and saw how it acted. I want to show you this first because I'm very proud of this uh, gift my wife got me. Thank you, honey. And uh, once again, that's uh, from That Darn Rob. Check him out on Etsy, just That Darn Rob. Uh, he does limited releases. They are very unique brushes there are other gold diggers this is called a gold digger by the way that's what he calls it look at that that's pretty uh, but no two are exactly the same there's probably a half a million of those brushes floating around out there with that same knot same thing but they all have a little intricacies and they're all a little different and there are some swirls of white from the top that made it down here to the bottom, that's fine. I don't really mind so much. Uh, he does a black variation where it's black here and clear here. That looks really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in this hot water I ran before I started recording. So since I'm gonna use the Gold Digger brush, I figured I would use my uh, Ball-In Gillette Tech gold-plated that place in the right way. You can see that. 1946 to 1950. These don't have date codes, but it's in that range. 46 to 1950. And mine, see if you can catch that, still has the word Gillette etched into the end of it. Uh, I bought it used, of course. I'm not that old. I didn't get this brand new. But to my eye, and considering the wear, hadn't been replated, so this is a really good example of a uh, a well taken care of razor. Uh, inside is a uh, Pulse Silver Super Iridium second use. Second use, yeah. Let's see if I can lock this down. There we go. Now it'll quit fluctuating. Okay, and continuing with gold, uh, the Blades Grim Gold Luxury, that's Smolder. Didn't pull the scent notes, sorry. But what I get off the top is amber. It's and there's vanilla in the background, but it's it's a really hard scent to, to place with the nose, but it's sweet, it's dark, it's manly, it's masculine. You can look them up. Not a lot of people are huge fans of the Blades Grim, but I never used it. I have no reason to suspect that it's gonna be uh bad. But there was a set, she found it, and that is the uh, Smolder pre-shave. So we're gonna try something new for pre-shave that matches the soap and uh, the Smolder aftershave as well. So I go ahead and wet my face and then we'll start the BSing and start the shaving. Now, truth be told, I'm not a big fan of pre-shave oils. This is a pre-shave oil. I did wash my face just a tad before I got started, so we're going to see if between that and this oil, we'll see how it goes here. All right, come out of there. Oh, that is going to get all in my ring. Take that ring off. There we go.
Mm. It smells very nice. Like I said, you hit, you get the amber, the sweet smell of amber first, but then it kind of warms up a little bit. It's, that's why I'm not a big fan of oils. Make sure that gets rubbed in pretty good. Rinse my hands off. I haven't had that brush in water for very long, but badger brushes soak up some water. And they hold heat. They do quite well. They're my favorite type of brush is a badger brush. And then synthetics. I'm not a big fan of bore brushes. I've, I've got a Samogate 30, actually. I'm soaking a Samogate 30 in uh, dish soap and warm water trying to get it to unclump. I rinse that thing out, I don't know, five, ten minutes. And it clumped up and got stiff and still it, it won't get right. So, I don't know. Maybe it's user error. Put the cat back on this oil so it doesn't get all over the place and set her to the side. And this is a, a, a firm soap. So the scritchy boar uh, badger brush will tear into that pretty well. It's so hard to place that scent. Anyway. Watch this. I suck her holes some water and it's still pretty hot. All right, straight to it. So how are y'all? How you doing? How's your mom and them? Middle of the week. Man, <laughs> work has about killed me. If y'all don't know, I drive a truck for a living. I'm a local driver, so I'm not out tearing up the interstates or nothing but that in and of itself uh, has its own set of challenges I, I do get to sleep in my bed every night and I don't have to eat hot dogs and drink coffee all day just to try to make it through the day I uh, do have to deal with breakdowns <laughs> and my truck broke down so then I got a smaller truck. I drive a combination vehicle, so class A, a, a rig. Uh, no sleeper on it, but it's still a rig. It's a combination vehicle, truck and trailer. That broke down and they stuck me in a little 26 foot box truck. It still has air brakes, but it doesn't uh, articulate. It's like a really big U-Haul. It's loading up pretty good. I'm gonna keep going though, just to make sure. I think that's plenty but uh that, that thing's a piece of crap <laughs> it's a loner and it gets the job done i'm just not used to a small truck so but at least the air conditioner works because while everybody else gets to experience seasons and it's starting to cool down and feel comfortable it's still 90 plus degrees here <laughs> And it's probably going to be. We're going to finish that lather on the face. Let's see how it does. I can already tell you, it's a thirsty soap. It's going to need some water. Not much, but some. And get me a good coat on here. But I'll tell you, even though truck driving can be a crapshoot, and it uh, look at that knot, look at that. This water.
I usually don't lather this long, but I love this brush. <laughs> that is fantastic. Fan churion is fantastic. I'm telling you, if you can spare it and you need a brush, which I don't I don't know a single wet shaver who doesn't need a brush. But Mike, this is your 15th brush. Shh. Don't tell me how to live my life. You lost your mind. If you got the money and you need a brush, then that darn rub. He does some great work. I don't know where he gets the knots or if he trims them or where he gets them from trims them or what. That's a pretty shiny lather there. I don't know if that picks up. But we have whipped up a nice lather. It smells good, feels good, looks good. The Greek shaver should be happy. <laughs> I ain't trying to call you out, buddy. But if you haven't uh, watched the Greek shaver, I like his accent. Cannot pronounce his name to save my life. But hey, he's a good guy. I got some really hot water in my Doctor Who mug, so I get some heat on the blade. But pick up one of them that darn Rob uh, brushes, man. He does limited drops. There's only a few. I think he wasn't up for 10 minutes, and he already sold every brush. And most razors he, he had. He, he's a wood turner, but he does acrylic work, too. And really good acrylic work. That is now my favorite brush. Not only because my wife got it for me as a gift, but that knot is insane. And it's soft, but it's got a ton of backbone. Anyway, let's shave. He's nice. I asked y'all how y'all's day was. My day. I was off today. That hardly ever happens. But when it does happen, I tend to take advantage of it. And I took extra advantage of it because today my wife was also off. And uh, we live on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. If you know anything about the Mississippi Gulf Coast, it's twice a week, twice a year we have uh, cruising the coast. If you know anything about classic cars, you know. That cruise on the coast was voted the number one classic car convention or whatever you want to call it in the nation by USA Today. Take from that what you will. And it's pretty much any and every kind of classic car you can think of Studebaker's Ford Chevy's a lot of 32 you know roasters and uh, they had a 77 Pinto out there today I, I wish I'd have brought my phone out of the car 
Uh, they had a 77 Pinto, still ran, and like five Corsairs. If you know anything about cars, Corsairs, I'm surprised them some bitches are even still together. It was uh, American Manufacturing's attempt at making an air-cooled rear engine vehicle, and it did not work at all. <laughs> But they had them out there, and it ran. An observation from the soap is that is dry as before I put anything on my face. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to rinse. Oh, I'm going to address a comment in one of my last videos. I can't remember if it was my last video or video before last. Anyway, I can't remember. Uh, anyway, somebody said, uh, "Yeah, man, your your Doctor Who poster, the frame reflects. So wear a towel." I don't film naked. I just I got no ass, man. <laughs> of course, I could be naked. You don't know. I might start a Patreon account. Speaking of which. Because <laughs> I'm not getting naked for free. Ever again. That was... I ever tell you I went to college? <laughs> uh. Second pass. We're going to get this loaded up on the face here. Well, we might, if the damn, I had to go back to the puck. Never be afraid to reload the brush. Like, oh, I'd, I've seen guys do that, or I've heard a guy, oh, if this soap sucks, it won't load, man. Well, no, you suck, because you won't reload. Do you think guys fighting wars and old gunslingers, when they ran out of bullets, they just threw the gun down and said, well, it's empty, I'm fucked now. No, man, they, they reload. Trying to save face on camera. I shave face on camera. I don't try to save face. The name implies that I don't know what I'm doing. In a, in a lot of ways, I don't. In others, I do. I know uh, I sh I've shown and mentioned my uh, straight razor a time or two. And uh, I'm definitely a rookie. Uh, truth be told, I did use it. But not on camera. And good thing, too, because that would have been a really embarrassing video to uh, have to press the upload button on. Once you get it worked up, Whoops. Anyway, got no post-shave slickness, residual slickness, there you go, whatsoever with this soap. So if you've never used it, and that's an important feature, skip it. This is not the soap you're looking for if you seek residual sickness, slickness. I do like this razor and blade. Yeah, see that? 
I'm not, I'm just gonna put a finger and drag. See how all that meat moves? There's no slickness behind it. Once the blade takes it away, that's it, it's gone. So this is not a buffing soap. At least, you know, the blade kind of hangs on to some. It's not a bad soap. I'm getting a shave out of it. And it looks like I'm pushing, but I'm not. It's my skin dragging post shave across the cap and it's moving the skin with it. It's actually the opposite of residual slickness. It's residual grip. I don't know. The damn camera keeps falling off. <coughs> this is going to be a weird edit. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I'm going to go ahead and apologize one more time to Fuzzy. It's Wednesday. It's supposed to be a Williams Wednesday. I owe him that because he hooked me up with some blades and a puck of Williams. Is anybody else, one, in an area where their water won't work with Williams? Or two, has anybody ever had like a red burning sensation after trying to lather Williams? Or was that just me? I didn't break, I got a little, you can tell here, splotchy red. I don't know what happened. I didn't use a weird brush. I didn't add anything to the Williams because you don't molest the Williams according to Fuzzy. but I couldn't get it to lather. It would get all puffy and all that stuff. I'd put it on my face and rub it in and I'd, I'd start working it and it would just fall flat and you could see right through it. I looked on a couple of places, looked around. They're like, oh, well, eh, your water's screwy, so get some distilled water. So now I gotta go buy a jug of water to get a shaving soap to work when every other shaving soap I've ever used works with my tap water, but whatever. Um, and I'm sitting there, I'm fighting it and I'm trying to get it to lather up and I'm doing all, and it just wouldn't, it wouldn't stick. Uh, it would stick, but it, it would get real thin and you could see right through it. It was like big puffy white and then it'd fall the hell apart. I don't know what the hell happened. I'm gonna rinse. But anyway, I finally got fed up after three tries, three brushes, three techniques. I rubbed it on my face because Flash said just take the puck and rub it on your face and then build your lather on your face. Did that and I was like, oh cool. It's finally starting to work. And then it fell the hell apart. Used two different kinds of brushes and I put my puck in a bowl. Uh, my SheaBowl.com bowl. And um, I, I just couldn't get it to, I couldn't get it to go. I used a bore brush. And I used a synthetic nothing tried to face lather with a badger brush nothing could not get it to work so i rinsed my face off i was like screw it i'm pissed off i'm not gonna mess with it no more and then i got to hanging out and i was laying there next to my old lady and we we're uh talking 
I reached up to touch my face, and it was like hot and it hurt. I was like, Ugh. Um, I had a battery blow up my face when I was 15, <laughs> and uh, it felt like that. <laughs> it friggin' sucked. Man, I ran straight to the bathroom, washed my face with a very mild soap. That didn't help. If anything, it made it worse. <laughs> Don't know why. And then uh, threw some unscented witch hazel on. That soothed the skin, added some moisture, because not only did it hurt and it was red, but it was uh, very dry to the touch. Yeah. And I threw some uh, aftershave balm on, and that cooled and caused uh, some Nivea sensitive, doesn't really smell like a whole lot to me. And I kind of glooped it on there and rubbed it in real good, and then just sat there and was like, I hope like hell I can shave tomorrow. And I didn't end up not shaving the next day, but anyway. I don't know what it was, but it, it just didn't work for me. So I will do a Wednesday shave one other trick I read was a dollop of Barbasol on top of the puck. Something in the Barbasol reacts with it and kind of cancels out bad water. And hopefully I don't get a reaction from that. This shave, however, I'm only going to do two passes. Because feeling around, I feel all right to me. I'm going to finish off with some unscented witch hazel someone commented and thank you very much Ooh, I wish I could remember your name they said take a washcloth and fan the face and let this dry before moving forward I rushed it last time you caught it good eye Just for you, I brought an extra washcloth. This soap I'm not a huge fan of. No residual slickness whatsoever after the fact. Now, it gave me a shave. I'll give it that much. And it smells great. Will I use it again? Probably. Would I recommend it? Yes and no. Yes, because it will give you a shave, and it lathered up quite well. Whew. But paying attention to the fads that's going on, and once again, it might be me, it might be the water, probably the water, I don't know. But uh, face is dry. No residual slickness. None. Zilch, not a none. But... Maybe that's not a, a big thing for you. Maybe, maybe you uh, you can give a fiddler's fuck about it. I don't know. Do the smolder aftershave. I do like the smell. I really do. And uh, there's the restrictor. They're kind of a milky consistency. There, it took a little while for the burn to kick in, but it's got one. Ugh. That's it for that. The camera has fallen twice during this video. I don't know. You're probably going to catch the downward angle. I'm going to catch it, edit that out. <laughs> You're not going to. No. So I guess this is going to have to be the camera angle for a while until I figure out some kind of other means to uh, get this sorted out. Which I might move it up so it's facing me like it used to, but whatever. Sorry about that that the camera angle kept changing and I had to, yes. 
it's it's been a day but but that's going to be it for me today that's all um to recap we use the the that darn rob gold digger Whew, that's a fine brush shaver was my 1946 1950 vintage gold plated ball in tech and we had the blades grim smolder for the soap and we had uh, pre-shave and uh, aftershave of the same brand and scent pre-shave not a big fan of oils but it worked great uh, no residual slickness on the soap aftershave delayed burn feels good smells good that'll stay with you a little while nice refined mainly scent but anyway thank you and that's gonna be it have a good one later on I got shit to do